I left France when I was 21 years old. Um, I did not speak a word of English before, so it was really, really hard for me to find a job abroad. So at 21, I just decided to lie on my resume. I was say that oh, I speak English and I sent it to different companies. And I finally found a job in, uh, in the Bahamas. Someone called me and said, hi, hey, do you speak English? The person was speaking French on the phone, so I was fine. So do you speak English and everything? Say, oh, yeah, 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 I speak English. So that's awesome. We need someone to speak French and English, but you need to live in a week to the Bahamas. I was like, oh, <laughs> in a week? I was like, all right, yeah, yeah, no problem. And they sent me the ticket fly and everything. I arrived in the Bahamas, couldn't speak a word of English. They were really, really pissed. And I said, we give you three months to, uh, to speak English. Otherwise, you're going to have to go back to France uh, at your own cost. And I just bought a book and study English by myself every day. And after three months, they, they kept me. <laughs> They kept me, and this was the, the uh, how to say the the opportunity that I was looking for. You know, like someone gave me the opportunity to learn the language and to be able to traveling. And then I went to uh, different places. I went to to Spain. I've learned Spanish in Spain. Then I went to Cyprus, England, Ireland, Australia, New Zealand, and end up in Malaysia in two thousand eighteen. Okay, wow, that's fascinating. So as an English educator myself and a, a lover of languages, I also try to learn languages. Could you give us, it sounds like you learned very quickly these languages. Can you give us some tips about how to study? I, I, didn't, I didn't have a choice because I was the only French over there and I was working with American people and I was working with people from a different country. There was people from Costa Rica, from Argentina, but uh, everyone had to speak English. I didn't speak a word of Spanish at that time because it was in 2003. So if I wanted to speak to someone, I had to speak English. And the thing is, sorry to say, but the way we learned English in Europe, it's really, really bad. You know, like they teach you how to write, but they don't teach you how to speak. And I couldn't speak a word. It was like people were speaking to me and I was like, I don't understand why I couldn't couldn't speak back, you know. So I was, I, yeah, I remember the, this book I bought, and I was learning all the verbs, you know, and you have all the, the past, the future, and everything. And I was writing all my words and trying to repeat all the words again and again and again. And it was it was it was a pain. It was really a pain for for three months. Yeah. <laughs> Wow. Wow. But you kept the job. That's amazing. And, yeah, and you, kept the job, yeah. and kept they were, the job. they were happy with you and they kept you after that. Right. Yeah. yeah. Wow. 